Sean, another magnificent evening here at Starts Park. It's what you live for, isn't it? It's, uh, I know how fanatical you are about the game. That must have been something to be involved in. Yeah, again, just carnage, to be honest. Um, it's getting every week, to be honest, last minute goals. and um, I wish we'd just make it a bit easier for ourselves at times, but um, yeah, if there's a way to win a game, then it's, it's like that, I suppose. If this was a football and soap opera, I think people would be turning off because it's a bit far-fetched, isn't it? <sighs> yes, yeah, as I said, I think that's six or seven times a season I'm sure we've won in the last five minutes so to start with teams are maybe saying it's luck but it's obviously no when we just we keep going right to the end we never know when we're beaten it's paying off to be honest is there any point in that game there where you can kind of look at your shoes uh, individually or collectively and think we've let ourselves down or is it always always about looking forward um the first half I thought were brilliant and if we came in maybe two or three up there like nobody would have been able to grudge us that so got a goal early in the second half and you think like let's go let's try and get a good win here and make it a bit comfortable but then probably just five ten minute spell just I don't know just switching off silly free kicks um, and then we find ourselves level and then they go and score and go three two up fair play to the manager again just kind of just goes all out attack and again we come back and unbelievable win what is it about that 2-1 scoreline that your two teams are historically 2-1 up, they lose a goal and immediately, from the sideline certainly anyway, you're looking and thinking, hold on, one team's a goal up, but they're on the back foot here automatically. What is it? What, what, what mentally clicks there? Um, I think when we scored the second goal, obviously, at a great time, straight after half-time, that was what the message was at half-time, let's start the second half well, we've done that, and then they score like, so early after after we've scored and the momentum just changes again so I think in football that, that's massive they had they were on the front foot we kind of sat back a bit and then obviously they got the equaliser and you're starting to think what's going on here What about the balance of um, you know what you take from the game positive in terms of character spirit and determination moving forward but also working on being that bit more resolute at the back how, how do you strike a balance because we've got such a quick turnaround for our both game yeah 100% I think there's always positives and negatives every game no matter if you win or lose so I think the first half really good positive the way we played chances we created um, the way we moved the ball really good and then second half as I said just a wee 10 minute spell just got slack and stopped sort of doing what we're doing but again the character in the in the squad's unbelievable subs coming on Calm Smith brilliant um, Aiden Bruni coming on different class Hammer coming on it's, it's a squad game and we're not going to be successful this season with 11 or 12 players it's, it's a real squad effort so boys are disappointed not to be playing but we need everybody pulling in the right direction and that's what we've got this season the amount of games I think this season the subs have came on and won us a game, it, it speaks volumes. Tell me about your own role, tell me about your own um, approach to the game because there are many, many points of uh, that game where you're absolutely key, you're the anchor in there in terms of saying, no, no, we need to hold firm here. I, is your game evolving or, or are you just feeling that there's a natural affinity with what's happening around about you? Um, I would say both, to be honest. Like The position I play, it's, it's tough because I'm in there and at times on my own with the other sort of five players attacking, but... I feel confident and I'm loving football at the moment and I feel like week by week I'm getting fitter, stronger and I'm really enjoying it. I feel like I'm back to playing my best football again and I think the loan move's been amazing for me so far so now I'm loving every minute. The third goal and the fourth goal relatively quick together. It, it, it has got that kind of almost Disney element in there but it's hard worked and it's hard earned. I think particularly the fourth goal we were talking with the manager there about how immediate the ball's moved when the foul's committed and, and how quickly we get in the, the front foot ending where not actually the easiest of finish for Sammy, he's, you know, he's really kind of diligent in putting it to the keeper's side. It, we then have to kind of hold firm, we then have to show it up, we see the five minutes go up in the, in the board. What's the chat like in the pitch and, and, and what's your role there? Um, I think obviously Callum Smith come on and like the third goal, what a finish that was and again for the fourth one as you said, Bruni ball doing play we're not happy with a draw we're what to go and win great pass out to Aiden play Smithy and what a finish with Stance um, then once we went 4-3 I think we're looking to the side there we're going to go back to the back four but fair play again to the manager we've, we've stuck with the three and um, look it's just concentrating everybody talking to each other staying switched on matching runners 
um, boys working hard up front and it's just a real team effort really to be honest so yeah it was brilliant again. It's a real team effort that's taken us to the top of the league um, as we sit here on a Friday night. Our both are up next, different surface, different conditions, different challenge, players fighting for different reasons, what's your thoughts ahead of that game? No, another tough game, different game, different conditions, um, we've not actually played our rough yet this season but new manager so I'd imagine they'll hit a bounce um, and going up to our roof and any day is never easy so again it's up to us go and play our, our own game and let's go and try and get three points again and, and take it for there. I would imagine that um, when you came and done your first interview at Race TV if I'd said we've got the chance of heading up there pre-Christmas and we've got um, a trip to our broth, a trip to Dundee United but we head on the Friday night top of the league you would have a wry smile but I think you would have given my hand a pretty good uh, shake and says we're on it yeah, 100%. Like, I think if anybody at the club offered us this position, we'd have snapped your hand off for it. But we want more, we want to keep going, we want to keep pushing. Um, we're taking it a game at a time. That's all. There's no point in looking at Dundee United next week. We've got a really tough game against our broth, and if we start looking too far ahead, then it'll smack us in the face and we'll be back in the league. So, no, it's a game at a time. Um, rest, recover, and we'll be ready for another a big game on Wednesday. Anybody who'll see that Ray TV put up a, an interview in behalf of the club um, with, with Sean Byrne's going to be, they're just going to be spooling forward to say, come on, ask the question, ask the question. Um, you know, we spoke in the past and that um, it's really about clubs negotiating um, any potential either return or uh, extension that starts part. Is that where it sits? Yeah, I think um, in January there's a clause, it's some, I'm not sure the exact date, but um, Dundee can call me back or hopefully the loan will be agreed um, to the end of the season so I'm just kind of the same as everyone else um, waiting to see what happens but one thing for sure I'm, I'm loving being here and hopefully that continues. I mean ultimately we'll fully respect Dundee's decision but uh, it's been great watching you out there and uh, it strikes me that Wednesday night's just your kind of game. Yeah again just I just love playing to be fair after last year never played anywhere near enough what I want to play, I'm used to playing every week, I'm used to to playing games and when you train Monday to Friday and you're not getting that reward on a Saturday, it's it's disappointing and it's tough but um, as I said, like I'm loving it here and I feel valued by the, by the squad, the managers, the players, the fans and stuff so it's, it's good. You said I'm nearly at the top of my game, what you got left an extra 5%? I don't know, maybe, I'm a, asking you after the maybe game a shot or maybe a goal or something one day would be good but um, no, I just I just want to keep improving as well. I think no matter what age you are, you could keep getting better. You could keep learning new stuff. So, no, keep going and a goal. Is the doc club doctor going to give you a wee inoculation? Because I think there's a bit of nosebleed action going on when you get in the final. Oh third. no, I think I'll leave that to other boys. <laughs> um, I'm happy to clean up the business and pass it on to the other players to go and go and score and create. And that's I'm happy with that. Brilliant. Well, the most important thing is to say congratulations on three points tonight. What a dynamic. Uh, roller coaster uh, of a performance. Uh, great to have you with us.